Tonight was the fifth annual Northeast Celebration, which is a celebration of evening and community awards. The partnership began with the East Minneapolis Exchange Club and the Northeast Chamber five years ago. We decided that we wanted to bring our two separate events together to make sure the people that serve the community and business members could come together to celebrate what goes on in our community. That was the origins of this particular program. The East Minneapolis Exchange Club traditionally gives the Book of Golden Deeds Award for someone in the community that has done and provided exemplary service. Secondly, they provide the Officer of the Year Award for an officer from the 2nd Precinct. And when appropriate, they award the Proudly We Hail, which is for a business or organization that uh, displays the American flag. Inspector Kathy Waite, you run the 2nd Precinct here on the east side. How important is the East Side Exchange Club and the Chamber of Commerce for your success? Oh, we couldn't do the job we do without having great partners out in the community like the Exchange Club and the Chamber. The Exchange Club has offered us so much support, not only financial support, but just support in the community and sharing with the community and the citizens about the work that we do. They've helped us build a lot of additional partnerships with area businesses that we would not have otherwise had the opportunity to build upon unless we had them providing us with those opportunities. So we're, we're just very happy to be here tonight and glad that they support us on a daily basis. And you must be very proud that one of your officers is being honored tonight. I am. Officer Nick England is the award winner for this evening. He works the overnight shift, the dog watch, up at the 2nd Precinct. And when you say dog watch, what, what are the hours? That, what, and what does that term come from? Dog watch is a long, old, old term that was used to describe the hours that they work. They work from 8.30 at night until 6.30 in the morning. The premise is that the only people awake at that hour is the criminals, the cops, and the dogs. <laughs> so it became dog watch. Great. Well, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you. The Exchange Club is America's premier service club, and we are working to make our communities a better place to live. The East Minneapolis Exchange Club's mission is to support Americanism and to protect children. The Book of Golden Deeds Award, which celebrates someone in the community who has dedicated a long period of time to service. Tonight, that was Tom Sywick. Tom Sywick is acknowledged for his support of the Northeast Minneapolis community, and especially for the support of children and kids and adolescents, which is part of the Exchange Club mission. He has taken the Exchange Club above and beyond what they've ever performed before, uh, with the creation of the food truck jam, as well as the new Build Your Own Breakfast, which just occurred a week ago uh, at Psycho Susie's in Northeast Minneapolis. He's reinventing everything the club is about. He's recruited, I would suspect, 15 members at least in the last two years, me being one of them, trying to energize the base, having new people, new voices, and new creativity, and I think it's really showing off. Tom really has been an inspiring example of Exchange Club membership. Community accomplishments where nice people get together and make things happen. He self-describes himself as a people person who's always involved with kids. Other people's kids, his own kids, his extended family through nieces and nephews. He is an active member of a organization of lumber people who do charitable work activities focused on training teachers in the community. He is our Minnesota District Director for Exchange and President-elect for the district. He is a member of the Northeast Investment Co-op and a member of the board for Wall to Bridges, Walls to Bridges, a tolerance education program in the public schools. As a 20-year member of Exchange and certainly very involved in the business community, he came into exchange and very quickly um, was given a lot of support by our member Jim Nesser to kind of take on the annual youth benefit dinner. And Tom probably has never gotten out of chairing that event. And really, up until this 2013 year, that youth benefit dinner was our biggest fundraiser. I have to say, I think that we passed it up with the Northeast um, food truck jam. So kudos to Tom. Um, the Exchange Club is really very happy to salute Tom Sywick as our Book of Golden Deeds recipient this year. So please join me in congratulating. All right. Well, thank you for the recognition.
You know, it's an honor to be recognized among the Northeast community for my time and effort I've given to Northeast to continue to be the great place that it is. I truly love Northeast and consider myself fortunate to be part of this community. My commitment to Northeast started, you know, over 20 years ago when Frank Picha, a family friend and Northeast State Bank banker, asked me to join the Exchange Club. It turned me down many, many times. I was young. I didn't know what it was. And then I found out that they passed out flags on Central Avenue at the parade. I thought, well, that sounds like fun, and I like to make kids happy. I like kids, so that would be a perfect fit for me. When I grew up Northeast, I felt like adults were always watching or watching out for kids in Northeast. Not just my neighbor Mabel when we stole their crab apples, or Walt Sr. when we were in the candy aisle, okay? But our teachers, our coaches, bus drivers, our friends' parents, and many, many adults who took interest in our lives. I thought the Exchange Club could help me achieve my desire to mentor, care, protect, and provide for the children of Northeast. I learned the importance of this by the actions of two important people in my life. Individuals that gave their time and effort for others, for the kids of Northeast, and for their entire community. One was my mom. She was an avid volunteer, an active participant in our schools and our church. The other was Roger Fox an individual who spent countless hours mentoring, supporting, and protecting the youth of Northeast. He was a Book of Golden Deeds winner in 1996. As an Exchange Club president in 96, I was honored to present him with this prestigious award. Over the years, I've had the privilege to present this award to other deserving individuals right here at this event. Hearing their inspiring accomplishments makes it very easy to emulate their good deeds. I want to thank all the Exchange Club's past Book of Golden Deeds winners right now. Anyone here, you could stand up if you wouldn't mind. We got a few. Don't be shy. And the, the list is long and it's glorious, and I'm, I'm very, very proud to be a part of it. Most importantly, my inspiration comes from my wife. She's caring, kind, I can't even say it. <clears throat> supportive and loving. I could not have been recognized without this award, without her. Thank you for the Exchange Club for this honor. Thank you for attending the event. Thank you. Sorry about this goofiness. We also give the Officer of the Year Award, which is also a long-standing tradition. That was given to Nick Englund tonight. He unfortunately was, or fortunately, was in Brazil, but his parents accepted the award on his behalf. He was acknowledged for his exemplary work for exceeding all of his other officers' expectations and making a general impact on Northeast Minneapolis. And that's the nature of that award. Some years it's just statistics, and some years it's extreme events. Thank you all for the honor of receiving this award. I apologize for not being here in person to accept it. But be sure that I'm thinking of you from the warm beaches of Brazil. I would like to accept this award on behalf of all the second precinct officers who do so much good every day and night, I'm confident I can speak for all of my partners when I say it's a privilege to serve the Northeast community, its residents and businesses alike. Northeast has a very unique relationship with its precinct officers that is not common among communities, but very welcomed. In such a typically thankless profession, Nothing is more rewarding to a police officer than having a supportive and engaged community. It has been my pleasure to call the second precinct my home over the last four years. Thank you again. The Northeast Chamber of Commerce can do anywhere from two to four awards. Tonight we had two winners. The Small Business Award winner was Poplock, Minnesota, who has been in business for seven years and has actually been a supporter of this event from the very beginning. The Mid-Sized Business Award was Stanley's Northeast Barroom, which is in it just celebrated its third anniversary, so they are given that award tonight. Tonight was a really successful event, and we were really happy to celebrate our fifth anniversary. One of the things that we did tonight is that $5 from every event admission was donated back to the club, and they'll then share that with their nonprofits, which is something new and exceptional, and I think very reflective of this particular event. We hope that we just keep going with this partnership. We continue to acknowledge the people that did do good work in our community. That is the Book of Golden Deeds winners. That is the Officer of the Year Award winners. But it's also our Business Award winners. 
part of that application, that nomination process, is what do you give? What do you give back and what is your place here? So I think that is why this partnership between the Exchange Club and the Northeast Chamber is so valuable.